Hi, Seamus Bruce here, back with another Ordinal Marco video, episode 68. And you can see, yeah, I can get another fractal shift. I can also, uh, isn't there one other? Th oh, yeah, this unlock fractal engine upgrade. So I probably want to do this before the fractal shift. And hopefully, this is going to be good. I can actually get two of these. The first three reset upon fractal shifts, but the last two don't. So lubricate the fractal engine and double the speed. Okay, that, I guess that's pretty nice. I can do it again as well. So, yeah, this upgrade scales at Ackermannian growth rate. And if you don't know what an Ackermannian growth rate is, this means um, it's um, essentially it's like the number of arrows is increasing linearly. Which, yeah, you, you, you should watch numbers getting bigger or something else, some other big number series, if you want to understand this. There's also energy orb. Um, effectively grows this much faster. So yeah, you can see this is a this is kind of crazy. This is energy or base multiplier plus 0.3 times. Discount the first three fractal upgrades by one arrow. That means that these this 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 the numbers will just decrease. And there's also gain a free fractal shift. I wonder if there's any like achievements. I'm I'm now up to here. I don't know how I'm supposed to get 128 because I feel like. I feel like I reached the last achievement that I can actually get because I don't know what it means by too many incrementy. Also, look at the ordinal level. I'm at 155, and the next one is literally Capital Omega. And if you think, oh, you're already past Capital Omega, no. The Psi function makes it lower. It collapses it into like a countably infinite ordinal rather than an uncountably infinite ordinal. That's what the capital Omega is. So yeah, I feel like I've, this is the max ordinal I've ever seen in this game. This will be the last episode, who knows. Anyway, I'm going to do a fractal shift here. And hmm, there's a 16 times engine cost. It's only 16 times. It, well, with these huge numbers, 16 times is really like nothing. So I guess I just have to go back into here and you know, get these upgrades again. I hope it's not exactly as slow as it usually is. That would, that would be very, very, very lame. Also, I don't think I'm ever going to be able to get this. I guess I just want I just want to get this, and this will help boost my incrementing auto buyers, which a lot, a lot of this is just very lame, unfortunately. Not much I can do other than just doing it manually. I, I, have, to, I have to grind this manually again. That is so annoying. At the very least, I can get this upgrade, and this will actually... This is all a decent bit, but it's still not very good. I mean, I guess I can try to get this and see if I can get... You can see, yeah, now it's faster. I really should actually start using this earlier. I, I know I will be capped at some point, but at least I can get something, even though it's this stupid grind. I'm like, I hope that for every fractal shift, I don't have to do this grind. Unfortunately, it looks like I do have to do this grind every fractal shift. The only thing that's speeding up is I now have more energy orbs, which means I can get a slightly bigger multiplier slightly faster. That's not all that good. It does look like I can actually go past where I was last time with this upgrade. I think I was locked at like 22,000 something, and now it's just 27,000. E so I feel like at least I'm getting something out of this, and I can just... Grind the last bit. I'm I'm already almost there at this point, and this is this is auto thirty per second, so this is that's decent. And yeah, now I can now I can actually get the fractal engine going, and I can actually do. Of course, I just I just keep getting this, and then now I can just I can get I can do this. I can actually now lubricate the fractal engine, which will help speed things up a decent bit, I guess. I still need the same amount of incrementy for, well, of, of course, I, I need to get this. Um, so I can try to speed up the grind to the level 2 fractal engine. It's a little faster, mostly because of this doubling, but it's really not all that good. There's, I mean, I guess there, no, I can't even get the energy or effectiveness grows 20% faster. Is this just going to be every run where it's like every fractal shift is almost like a clicker hero's transcension where the only thing that's actually speeding up um, or the only reason why you can get farther is because um, there's it's essentially your cap is raised. 
I, I hate that sort of gameplay. It's not engaging gameplay at all. Because, especially if everything's the same speed. Luckily, there is some things that do mildly increase the speed, but really, like, these upgrades are all the same. I mean, I guess there is this and this, but um, I guess there, there also is the one fractal engine is four times faster that you will be able to keep the whole time. And this, this says coming soon, and these upgrades are just don't exist yet. So I, I know I won't be able to get that. Like, that's actually not implemented in the game yet, and I'm not sure if this game will ever get another update, because the creator of it, Pat Kale, has said that he's probably not going to be updating this game anymore. He's working on a new game, Time Layers. Everyone wants me to play Time Layers, even though it's... I don't really want to play another game made by the guy who nuked my server, so... Yeah. I I really... It's not even going to be that exciting. Actually, no. I, I guess I will maybe go on camera when I get this upgrade. It's not even that exciting, though. I guess I can get this and this, and that's about it. So... See you when I get to the next fractal shift. Okay, I'm back and I have enough incrementy to get fractal engine level 3. So, unfortunately, I do need to um, get this and do this again, which is lame, but that's what I'll do and get fractal engine level 3. So, this will just. I, I know, I knew it was gonna do this. It's not even a surprise that. My incrementing is now up to hexation, so this is a little bit slower. Like this is a little bit slower than like usual with this, um, but you know, or like a little slower with this number because this is exponential to ten, hundred, thousand, and there's not much I can actually do. I can get this. I can I can double the speed. I guess that's pretty nice. Is there even anything else I can do? Oh, of course, I can. If I get up to 10 hexated to a thousand, I can fractal shift. There, um, and maybe actually, I can I can finally get. I don't even have these upgrades yet. That that's how um, stupid this is. Maybe maybe it's faster. No, it's not any faster. Um, I think yeah. I should just keep getting this. I can get. I almost forgot about this. Each fractal shift give, um, gives a no. Uh, that gives no energy orb, gives plus 150 production, but there's also this. So, like, this, does this even do anything? So, let's see, this is 1590 per second. If I just refund everything, and buy max, no, if I buy max, I'd do that. So, what if I just, like, don't, um, what if I just do this? Is this still, okay, it's a little higher, but that's just because energy orb. So, that is completely useless. Instead, this is better. Energy over effectiveness speed times 1.75. That's just going to make it a little bit better. It's not anything game-changing, but it's at least something I can do to make this ever so slightly faster. So, yeah, next fractal shift is going to come soon, and this means hopefully we get more energy orbs and just, yeah, just more stuff and... I'll be able to get this upgrade eventually, once I get this. I'm probably just going to, once I do the fractal shifts, I'll probably just go completely off camera, because there's no reason to, it's essentially the same grind. I mean, I'll have another energy orb, which means this, I'll have a better multiplier here. That's about it. That's literally it until I can get 10 heptated, or I think, I think it's heptated to 10. Incrementy. So, yeah, see another bit. Okay, so it's been way too long since last episode, or not episode, what am I saying? Since last um, recording, and yeah, I could buy Fractal Engine level 4, which means that, well, you can see now the incrementy is gonna start pentating, and also, of course, I unfortunately need to do this again, which means. Yeah, I need to do this again, which means I need to lose that 6.25 multiplier I had, which is so dumb, but that's what I have to deal with. At least I can get some new stuff, because at 10 pentated to 10, incrementing. 
there's a bunch of things I can do. Um, okay, yeah, I can double the, the fractal engine speed. I can um, energy orb effectiveness grows even faster, so that that I guess that's pretty nice. But I think the most important thing is the new one: energy or base multiplier plus two point three times. So you can see it is one point oh nine times. Now it is one point eleven times. But it's probably maxes out a much higher value. That that's what I'm guessing. And also, of course, there is the singularity functions. There, I can also this actually is useful, but. Um, I still think a, a base 150% production is better at this point than a faster speed. Maybe? I'm not sure. Um, but, I mean, at least I have three fractal shifts. At least I'm getting close to this upgrade, which I guess does something. But, yeah, this means I just have to wait until... I get all the way to this, and then I can do yet another fractal shift. It's not even very exciting. It's, it is gonna, is it gonna give, it's just gonna give another energy orb, and plus one on my chin, and it's not really, it's nothing that exciting. I'm not even sure if I want to record this, but at least there's something there. Okay, it's been too long since the last time I did this. Let's just get straight at this fractal engine level six and This means that well, we have to, to put the energy orb into what is this? This is level five, so I'm gonna do this and It's gonna take actually a while. What I can't get this upgrade. I almost forgot that upgrade existed. I accidentally went to this tab and Yeah, fractal engine is four times faster. That is actually really nice. That is um, An upgrade that Yeah, it's really gonna help me. I'm Still, because you can see it's getting a lot long, it's getting a lot harder to reach even like something like this, which is just lubricating the fractal engine and doubling the speed. Not very exciting. There is going to be another, you know, I'm not even going to get a fractal orb the next time. I mean, what even is my, uh, if I go here... Could, I think this is still really better. Is this the fifth fractal? If it is the fifth fractal shift, that could be nice. But there's not really much I can do. I I can see why people really don't like this section of the game. Yes, the numbers are big, but numbers being ridiculously big does not mean everything. And yeah, I'm I'm not exactly sure how much longer this episode's gonna go. I do want 69 to be the last one, though, because I know there's going to be no more mechanics, and um, if it's already a 68, it needs to be a 69. There's just at least just even some kind of filler episode, like, months later, just to see, like, how far it progressed. Yeah, that's probably what my plan is, but this episode still hasn't ended yet, so, yeah, see you in a bit. Okay, I'm back, and you can see, well, yeah. I can get the next fractal shift. I have five fractal shifts, so that is the one mildly exciting thing, which means that, well, I can get that last singularity upgrade. Yeah, while I'm grinding this, I guess I, I'll say so, something I'm... Well, I'll explain something about incremental games gameplay, or at least this game, or at least Incrementiverse, the gameplay with Incrementiverse. And what I was going to say is that Big numbers does not equal good gameplay because the thing is that yes, the incremental gets into Google logical amounts, and I guess that's fun to look at, but it doesn't mean it's good gameplay because the actual gameplay is just you have to redo everything that you did last run with like basically if there is any speed boost at all, it's like barely anything and. It's just, it's bad gameplay to just do it over and over again with absolutely no boost. And the, the big numbers are basically meaningless because of the fact that um, you just go like straight from one of the um, increment, or from like one number of arrows to the next number of arrows. And also I'm actually getting more increment here. It's enough to actually get 
one of the fractal engines somehow. I have no idea. Possibly this. I, I don't. I don't even think it is. But anyway, I can. I can start getting this, which means I can. At least I can get this first part a little bit faster, especially with that um, upgrade. With yeah, with, with this upgrade because just a flat four times multiple part. That's actually pretty nice to have. And I guess I'll just boost this a little bit. Like, this is almost fast enough that I can just do it, I can get all the way up to Fractal Engine level 3 in one sitting. But this is still just really, really poor gameplay because, I mean, yes, there is boosts like that, but that's like the only boost like that. I mean, I guess ener there's energy orbs, but it's just, the energy orbs aren't really all that good at all. And it's just not good game. Actually, um... Well, there is one more thing I can do, and that is this. Fractal shifts give times 1.5 production. So, I guess at least there's this boost. I'm, I assume 1.5 production is just a speed boost to the fractal engines. At least you have that, but it's still not very engaging gameplay, because it's still essentially the same thing over and over again. Like, okay, yes, there is some speed boosts, and I like that, but... You're not really doing anything other than just getting more and more of the fractal engine. There's not much you can do. And no wonder people do not like the Incrementiverse mechanic. It is not good. <laughs> That's literally what it is. It's just not good engaging gameplay. It's the same thing over and over again. And of course, time walls. And yeah, I mean, just because... The incrementy needs like crazy notation to like note how much, just how much incrementy you have. That doesn't mean everything. It's better for the gameplay to be fun than for the numbers to be super big. There's there's games that prove this. There's like I mean I don't I haven't really played them, but like a dark room is one of them. Realm Grinder I guess is another game that is like that. It it's all stays below E308, and yet it can still provide really good and engaging gameplay. I think Kidden's Game is another game where it's like that. But anyway, Fractal Engine Level 2. Hooray, we can actually get a little bit more. And, I mean, I don't I don't really want to wait until Fractal Engine Level 3. Um, yeah, I'll just do this off camera. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to end the episode here. And next episode, well, it's... It's going to be episode 69, so I'm not sure if I can get all the way to the last upgrade. I'm really not sure what the limit is, but I'm just going to do a lot more off-camera. Episode 69, which will be the final episode of the series because this game isn't being updated anymore. It's probably going to be a short one, and yeah, it's just going to be a b bunch of progress updates and just like... Sad, it's the last episode, and nice, it's 69. So, yeah, hope you enjoyed. Peace out. Mm -hmm.